Welcome to the Big Brother Breakdown with Jolene. Welcome to the BB Breakdown with Jolene. That's me. Hey guys, welcome to the Big Brother Breakdown with Jolene. I break down all things BB Canada. Um, I'm a little behind, I'll be honest with you guys. I did not see last night's Sunday night's episode. I am all caught up on the other episodes, but they don't have it up on the YouTube channel that I follow yet, and I haven't switched my VPN thingy dingy, and I was out of town this weekend visiting my in-laws. And I'm on day three of keto because a lot of people have been commenting on my weight. Not you guys, thank you very much, but other people. And I just kind of want to feel better, so I'm seeing if this works and trying to work out. Not that you guys need to know that information. Uh, but that's kind of what's been going on. But I have been keeping up with the feeds here and there and videos on YouTube and Twitter accounts that give spoilers. Everywhere I can go find myself a spoiler, I go get it. I also have a jean shirt on. Uh, in honor of Canada because you know the Canadian tuxedo jean on jean I think I need a jean undershirt and then jeans and I love myself a Canadian tuxedo if the Canadians did in fact invent the Canadian tuxedo whew, just another reason I love Canadians okay BB Canada if you guys have never been to my channel before make sure you hit that subscribe smash the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video um, I also have a challenge video coming out for MTV I'm a little behind on that but I do have my latest survivor video so if you guys are survivor fans Check out that video. I'd love to get it. Some more views. All right. BB Canada. Spoilers. There's going to probably be spoilers. Maybe it's stuff you guys already know, but just in case you hate spoilers and you only follow the episodes, see you later. All right, you guys. Chelsea is the HOH. She won HOH. We know that. She jumped into Adam's arms. Like, can we, can people stop jumping into people's arms? Can we pretend we know how to play Big Brother and just play it cool? She could have easily looked over at Esty and gave her a hug like, oh, hey, that was a good game and been a good sportsman, but she jumped off into Evil Adam's arms and I'm like, oh, come on. Adam's like, it's great, cause now I'm not gonna be, I think I was just doing an Australian accent. I don't know why I was doing an Australian accent. Yeah, I have to talk about things. I'm gonna be kind of all over the place with this update, but you guys know how I am, so you get it. Uh, Adam and, uh, what's her, what's her name? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot, Sam, duh are boring. Oh my god, their relationship is so boring. They bicker at each other. Adam's just a big, tall goof, and he's so boring. He's just, he's the most boring, you guys. Are you guys bored with Adam? I'm so bored with Adam. And he's just like, Sam, I see why I have to wake up in the morning and fight with me the first thing in the morning. I don't understand. I'm sorry. And this is also the season of Suri's. Oh my goodness. And Chelsea is the HOH of Suri. Everything on the feed is she's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, you're the HOH. Quit apologizing to everyone. <laughs> but then I know they're Canadian and they have manners. But still, don't be the apologizer. You don't want to do that. If you watch Real Housewives of New York, you know, you'd be like Ramona, the apologizer. And then it comes off disingenuous if when you apologize too much. Okay, so Adam and Sam need to get broken up. They need to get voted off the show. I am over them. I'm over them. I'll give you a couple <laughs> thoughts on people. So we know Chelsea is the HOH. Okay, whatever. Chelsea's the HOH. Jumps into Adam's arms. Ugh. Is that... I really... Okay, so I have a theory that Adam and Chelsea are secretly in love. And you guys are probably like, yeah, duh. I do. I think that Adam would trade in Sam for Chelsea. Or there's some threesome stuff going on. I don't know. But it bores me nonetheless. Ready for Adam to go. Him and Sam have a very annoying relationship. They're playing games with each other in the house. It's another showmance that's messing stuff up. I only like this showmance. Uh, if it continues to mess up the pretty boy alliance, then I like the showman's also can we talk for a second? Now this is my first big brother Canada season But can we talk for a second about how come guys like I watched all the US uh, a big brother that there's ever been I swear and Guys align and you have the brigade brigade and they blah, 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 and they make it and then you have you know this pretty boy alliance who are without Damien and Eddie who are the true pretty boys on this season and they're making it, you know, they're they're doing it. Uh, and we can't get the women to align. It's so frustrating to see this. Okay, so Chelsea put on the block Damien, who has now become the perpetual pawn. I don't know how Damien became the pawn. I think it's because he's so easygoing. They're not seeing him as a threat. I want to see Damien win an HOH. There was some talk between SD um, on the feeds. There was some talk between SD and Kiki and Dane that they wanted to throw the HOH. So Damien could win, which would be amazing. However, here's another thing. Why haven't Kiki and uh, Esty, who I adore, why haven't they figured out that they can't trust Dane? Right now, they're really in on Dane. I saw in the feeds that Kiki and Dane are cuddling. No, girl, 
No, 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 Kiki. I mean, I, I know Kiki's smart. She and Esty are really playing the game and they're playing dumb and they're like, oh, we're weak or oh, yeah, okay, we trust you. And really they're super smart and snarky and I love them. But they should have figured out with that last vote that Dane's not on your side. When he was the sole vote to vote out <laughs> Mackie and had to break the tie, they should have figured that out. I put a plague on all you guys. You guys are all fake, man. A plague on this whole house. But yet they're still trusting Dane. And I think they do trust him. And Kiki's cuddling with him. And I'm like, no, Kiki. I don't think Dane is as bad as Adam or Anthony, who, ugh, both of them just beat it. Get out of here. All that muscle. Anthony's out there talking about the women in the house saying they're not that smart. They're just scared. They're not playing smart. They're not smart. They're scared. It's like, bro, you're scared. You're hiding behind other dudes. These women are playing on their own. That shows you're more scared than they are. Not an Anthony fan. Also how he's turned on Mama K. I don't like that. Okay. So Chelsea put up Damien, the perpetual pawn, and put up Kiki. And I'm like, no, I don't want, that's the wrong Kira to go home. Dane's just like, well, you can't get away my girl because I want to, um, well, I still want to cuddle with her in the bed. And then we like to talk about hockey and I tell her all the best plays. I go smoke a cigarette and then I come back in with my smoking breath and I say, hey, Kiki, do you want to cuddle? And I'll tell you about that time I scored a hat trick and everyone throws their hats out. And then I picked up the hat and it was really cool, super cool. Yeah, Kiki's like, awesome, how long do I have to do this? Don't trust Dane, ladies, don't trust him. Okay, so Kiki was on the block. Uh, they had the power veto competition and Sam won. So women are winning things, but yet they're not getting together. It could be so easy for them to get together because even Kiki and Esty talked previously about Chelsea and that they liked her and that they possibly wanted to align with her and they think she just aligned with Adam and Sam out of convenience, which yes, probably happened, but also probably because they're all the evil popular kids <laughs> and they always were. So Chelsea puts up Kiki and then they had this elaborate plan to uh, backdoor Mama K because she's just such a threat. And I know Mama K, she's smart, but it just stinks that now She's the oldest person in the house. I know they don't, I don't think they know her exact age, but it's like, she's only 42. I'm liking Mama K. I'm liking the fact that there are sides. Chelsea's like, I want to get rid, I'm sorry, but I want to get rid of the sides. It's like, it's big brother. There's always going to be sides. Sides make it interesting. That tie in that episode, not Sundays, but um, when Mackie got voted out was so awesome. You want to see moments like that in big brother. You want to see a house divided. Plus, what, why would those people come over to your side? She was talking to Damien on the feeds about that and telling him that he's safe because uh, Sam won the power veto and then used the power veto to save Kiki and put Mama K in the block because Chelsea's big elaborate plan is to backdoor Mama K. Uh, Mama K wants to get Adam out and really the women should align. Chelsea should have talked to uh, Kaylin talked to Mama K and been like, all right, eventually I got to get Adam out too. And I know he's got Sam's back over mine, even though he's secretly in love with me. I'm sorry, but it's true. And she should have worked with her and they could have had this side alliance that no one would expect. And it could be behind the scenes. And if this is happening and I'm missing it, let me know in the comments, but I don't think it's happening because it sounds like Chelsea's just like, Mama K is very manipulative girl. This is big brother. We can't have a house full of Mackies. Like as much as Mackie was likable and brought good vibes and stuff, you have to know how to play big brother. Of course, people are going to be manipulative. Uh, and Chelsea's manip manipulative too. When she talks to the other house guests, she's like, you know, I know Mama K is a human. You know, I don't want to send her out because it's like another human. But really, you know, Chelsea's like, yes, I get to send Mama K home. And I don't want Mama K to go, but I also don't want Damien to go. So right now we just have the women who are winning things and making moves. We have the Chelsea's and the Sam's working for the pretty boys. They don't know about the pretty boy alliance. I hate calling them the pretty boy alliance. Uh, I always forget that I don't want to call them the pretty boy alliance. I'm going to call them the penis boy alliance or the puberty boy alliance or the penile implant boy alliance, which would be an extra letter, but we could do it. It could be the PIBA, the penile implant boy alliance. Sounds better. It could be the peanut butter alliance, peanut butter. Uh, my Minnesota accent is just, I mean, it's so excited to watch BB Canada because it's like, Jolene, we get to come out even more and more. I mean, I never lost it and I don't want to, but it gets to, uh, that northern kind of accent gets to come out more and more and it loves it. But I can't call the pretty boys the peanut butter because I love peanut butter and I don't love them. I feel like Chelsea's HOH is a way she's missing a big opportunity to align with someone that can help her get out these threats later in the game because ultimately Adam will have Sam's back over his because Sam's on his back or he's on her back or something's happening. There, there are backs involved in this relationship. And to align with the showman's is 
the dumbest thing you can possibly do. You can align with the showmance, but don't legit align. Make them believe something. I just think she could have worked with that side of the house, and I feel like she should have been more keen on these things, but I think Chelsea, from watching the feeds and watching how Chelsea's been handling her HOH, she's handling it a lot like the pretty boys do, where they think like, yeah, you know, I'm the smartest person here. Don't worry, you know, you'll maybe be in a place like me one day. You know, it's like Dane and Adam with their thing. Like, maybe you'll be here, sitting here, and you'll put someone up, and that'll be cool. You know, don't worry about it. You're smart. And Kiki and Esty are like, yeah, we know we're smart. We, You guys haven't even caught on to the fact that we're acting around you, and <laughs> you're still our targets, but yet you're saving Kiki to get rid of Kaylin. When really, you could have worked with all of them. I just feel like Chelsea's doing the dirty work for the pretty boys, and she's going to look back, and she's going to see it's going to be like Britney with the brigade or something, and I don't really think Britney did. I don't, Britney didn't necessarily do their dirty work, but she wasn't privy to their alliance, and so she trusted them and certain members of the brigade, and really all along they didn't have her best interest. They just kept her around till the end, and they cut her off. Because it's a boys club, it's the penis club. Chelsea's in there talking to Kiki and Esty, like, kind of talking down, it feels like. And she's like, I feel like we've built some trust now. And it's like, no, you didn't. You're getting, like, a bunch of blood on your hands, because now you've put these two people up, Damien and Kiki, and if they win, they're not... Yeah, they're going to sit down on the couch and say, yeah, no problem, I totally get it. But nobody gets it when you put them on the block. Like, have a target, go for it, especially this early in the game. And also, find other people you can work with besides Kira, the crybaby, and Sam, the showmance, and Adam, the dumbass. It just frustrates me every season of Big Brother. And maybe Canada's been different in the past, but the women really haven't aligned together and stuck it through and cut the dudes off. They always end up either separating or selling other women out to the men or playing for the men which is just so frustrating this show because there's a real there's a lot of powerful women on this season of bb canada and they could really come together and just whip through this house because these pineapple boys they they're not that bright they're they're not they think they are but as it stands right now it looks we still have a few days left so you can never know in big brother damien thinks he's safe uh, mama k has been campaigning and chelsea's been going around the house going okay guys just know that, you know, she might say something that I said, but I, you know, I did. We did talk about how some of the girls are just floaters, but the, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I did say that. So it might get back to you. <laughs> just like, oh, Chelsea. And she's like, but don't listen to her. We got to get her out. We got to get her out. This is my big plan. I know it's a big move to backdoor this early. This is a boring move. I don't think this is a big move. I think this is a boring move. If you turned against Adam and them and you were working under, you were being like an undercover agent, that would be a bomb move. But this move is just boring. It's predictable. Chelsea's getting rid of Mama K. Uh, but Mama K is campaigning and she's doing a great job. She's really not taking it super personal. She's not um, attacking Chelsea. I think she's just going in and not letting it bother her. Like she's just like, all right, Chelsea. Um, and Mama K has the best Canadian accent. I love when she talks. And she's just going around saying, here's the deal. You can keep Damien, but all you guys who think you're so tough and you're comp beast, there's big targets on your back. So when I'm out of the game, who are you going to hide behind? So she's doing that whole shield uh, defense, saying, if you keep me, I'll always be a target. But Damien will just be a floater, and nobody wants Damien to go home because Damien's cute, he's sweet, he doesn't offend anyone. He's kind of right now a dumb person to get out of this game. There's so many more powerful players that would be a threat to them. And I think she should play on the Punk Boys Alliance on their, like, manlyhood, where it's like, he could take your babes. And I think, I think Damien be like, what? He could take my babes? What's one? With Esty? We're gonna take Esty or Kira? We'll see what happens. Mama K is campaigning really well. You know, uh, you just, you don't know what's gonna happen. It would be fun to see another tiebreaker, but then it wouldn't because Chelsea would just vote Mama K out. But I'm in a position right now where I don't want either of them to leave. I want them to, I want there to be a secret, secret veto somewhere. And the house does think there's a secret veto. And I think Adam wrote veto on something, which in Big Brother in the US, you're not supposed to write things down. So I, don't know if he's been punished for that, uh, but he wanted people to find it in the shower for them to think there's a secret veto. Uh, and now Eddie, oh, I love Eddie. Do you guys love Eddie? I love Eddie. He's going around looking for the secret veto and so far he's only found a coffee maker and Cheetos, but those are both good finds, especially when they had their fridge locked down. 
Now, I haven't had time today to look into why it's locked down. Then the feeds went down. But when they woke up this morning, there were chains on the fridge and they were only able to have coffee and condiments and slop. So the whole house was on slop. And Dane was like, we must be in punished. Think we're being punished, guys. We take a lot of naps and we talk back to Big Brother. We got to stop that stuff. And everyone's like, that's a good point, Dane. And then Eddie said, well, what if this is part of the challenge? And then the feeds showed pizza and beer with the fridge still chained up and then they cut again. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're being punished for. If Adam's being punished for writing something down, if they are addressing that, if they're addressing the fact that the Big Brother players have been talking back to them, if there's some kind of comp thing, I'm not quite sure yet. So when this video comes out, I won't know. So you guys might know by the time it comes out, you can put it in the comments. So right now I just really want the Pubic Boys Alliance to uh, falter and fade, especially Adam and Anthony. Um, I love myself some Mama K. I love myself some Damien. I like Corey. I really love Eddie. Um, obviously, I love the girls. I love Kiki and I love Esty. Chelsea, ugh, I'm bored with Chelsea's HOH. I just think it's so predictable and boring and I think she's going to regret it later. Also, Sam, I mean, the showman with Adam is just barfarama. It's very boring. It's very childish. I'm not into it at all. And I have been into some showmances before, but this one is boring city township. So unfortunately this week in Big Brother Canada, someone I like will definitely be going home. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Who do you want to see stay? Who do you want to see go? What do you think of Chelsea's HOH so far? Do you like it? What do you think of the Parking Boys Alliance? Are they parked in the right spot? Is anyone team Peeping Tom Boys? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, but that's my small little breakdown of what's been going on in the house since I got back from being out of town. Make sure you subscribe, share my videos. I would love to get a lot of BB Canada fans so that we can geek out and continue to, and I will keep sporadically uh, putting out Big Brother videos as I can and also keep up with the challenge and Survivor. I would like to throw some housewives in here, but if you do like the housewives go to married to bravo on itunes and spotify it's a podcast i have with my husband thank you guys so much don't forget to give this a thumbs up canadian tuxedos for life i think i'm gonna wear a canadian tuxedo out tonight yeah i have a birthday party to go to i think i'll represent with a canadian tuxedo love you bb canada this is a super fun season to watch leon's furniture you killed it with the house i love seeing leon's i love seeing wendy's sorry i'm getting carried away thank you guys so much for watching you are wonderful don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my Patreon. Check out my Etsy shop. Bye, guys. See you soon. I also realized I'm kind of dressed like a math teacher. Like, hey, guys, get your protractors out. I wore my short sleeve jean shirt because I'm a cool guy. I got it at the Gap. Bye.